my dudes welcome to my tiny house kitchen welcome to my little corner of the internet here my name is Stacy today's video was inspired by my friends at the curated life they have an awesome YouTube channel where they talk about all things tiny house related and they did one going through their pantry and it kind of got me thinking about how I get a lot of questions about how you can operate in a kitchen in a tiny house. So I'm going to be talking about my appliances, my tools, storage solutions for a small kitchen. And we're going to take a peek at what I have in the pantry. I think I have some interesting, what I consider pantry staples that are definitely not your run of the mill conventional pantry staples. I love cooking and I spend a lot of time in this kitchen. So I really designed it to be as functional as possible. And I can't wait to give you guys a little tour. Let's get into it. Okay, so part one, we're going to be talking about my appliances or a lack thereof. I never had a dishwasher and I've lived without a microwave for 12 years. I don't miss it. I just warm things up on the stovetop. I don't have a toaster or a toaster oven. If I want to toast bread, which I do, I just fry in a frying pan. I don't even have a coffee maker. <laughs> I do have an electric kettle and I use a pour over Chemex. I've had this for many years. I absolutely love it. I do have a blender and I barely use it. The main appliances that I use on a day-to-day -day basis are my kettle and my stove. I do have a full size stove. This is not an apartment size. I can even fit a larger baking sheet in the oven than I used to be able to in my apartment. And I actually have ventilation <laughs> above my stove, which I did not have in my old apartment. So for me, this is a huge upgrade. I love this shiny black, it's super sexy, um, which goes perfectly with my pretty mini fridge. I, I would say this is an apartment size fridge. I'm five foot eight for reference. It's definitely a decent size for one person. I do live here by myself. I did mention I do not have a dishwasher. I use a pretty small size dish rack. This is a little bit smaller than the dish rack I used to have in my apartment, but I have this countertop here, which is my primary workspace. And I also have a little bit on either side of my stove. These two are relics from my old apartment magnetic knife strip as opposed to like a knife block which is going to take up space on your counter this is making use of wall space however i definitely have some more kitchen tools that do not have holes in the top so in that case i have these bowls for other sorts of things like wooden spoon uh, spatula this actually does have a hole in the bottom but it's not quite large enough uh, to fit on that hanging rack. I have another one of these bowls up on the shelves on the other side. So this is just a nice place to kind of have things right within arm's reach when I'm working on the stove top. I have my salt and pepper shakers over here and a mortar and pestle. And I just keep them on a ceramic dish because the salt and pepper <laughs> always kind of like shed and otherwise my countertop would just always be a mess. One other great storage solution, as opposed to putting mugs on top of the shelf like I have up here, is to put little hooks at the bottom of your shelves to hang things from. This is another location. Every time I look at this, I'm like, this is prime storage real estate that I'm not even using. Uh, I could put hooks over here to hang practical decorative items like uh, oven mitts or more mugs. My plate collection was actually a housewarming gift from when I lived in my old apartment. I'm sure those are all from Ikea, but I did cut down on my glassware. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't have like wine glasses or beer glasses. If that's something that's important to you, then you want to make sure you have space for it. I have a couple of like ceramic cups, I have seven like drinking glasses. What else do I got? Um, <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what is in <laughs> all of these cabinets. So I have these two doors underneath the sink at the park where I live. 
we do not have uh, recycling services. We just have one big trash container, which I'm not very happy about. So I collect my recyclables and I bring them to my mother-in-law's house once a week or so. And I forgot the bin there. So right now my recycling is just kind of like in a pile <laughs> on the floor here, but I have a recycling bin. Behind that, in the back corner here, is my blender. Here in the back left corner, I have a stack of uh, reusable grocery bags. And I have this guy. I actually just got a comment on my last video. It might not be the last video sequentially, but I made a video recently about being a minimalist. I got a comment asking if I considered myself part of a zero waste community. And this is kind of the primary reason why I can never be zero waste. I live with type one diabetes, which means I inject myself with insulin, with needles three to four times a day on average. I have my continuous glucose monitor, which allows me to test my blood sugar in a not the most accurate way. There's another way in which you prick your fingers and use a test strip to pick up your blood. So I use a lot of little single use plastic items out of medical necessity and they're sharp. And so I need to store them in a safe way using a sharps disposal container. When this is full, I bring it to my local pharmacy and then they give me a new container. I fill up one of these containers about once a year and I don't like the term zero waste because I think it's just really unrealistic but I strive to live as low waste of a lifestyle as I possibly can. And I'm gonna show you a few items that allow me to make that possible. So one is these uh, reusable silicone baking sheets. I learned recently they're also called a Silpat. This one has been very thoroughly loved, as you can tell. I think this one is about uh, three years old. In here, I have uh, baking sheets. This drawer has all of my cleaning supplies, fertilizer for my plants. I have my plant seeds in here. I have essential oils and a funnel. I make a lot of um, my household cleaning products. One thing that I really like are these like cleaning tablets. This one is for cleaning glass, but there are a bunch of different uh, brands. This one I got from Kinsfolk Shop. They're based in Guelph, I'm pretty sure. It's a one woman owned business. They're in compostable packaging, which is really cool. It's basically just a solid tablet. You put it in a bottle. So this one I've had for many years and I just keep reusing. You put the tablet in the bottom, you fill it with water and you just shake it up. All right, so that's it for this drawer. Now in this drawer, I have a bowl where I keep onions, potatoes, garlic, and I have a couple of pots down here. So this is like a small one. A sauce pan. And then this one I use for cooking pasta, rice. By the way, over here I have my foot powered garbage can. So uh, looking at these cabinets now, this is where I have all of my cutlery. I do not have a lot of cutlery. <laughs> I have four of these like baby forks. I think they're super cute. Um, and I have two large size forks and that is it. Honestly, I prefer to eat with spoons the vast majority of the time. And then another really great zero waste item that I would like to shout out are these wax food wraps. I've been using these for like three years. I have gotten a new batch since. Um, they have assorted sizes. Now we're finally getting into food storage. <laughs> I realized this video is getting pretty long already, so I decided to split this up into two parts. So if you want to know more about my food storage, stay tuned for part two. Down here, I've got assorted tools. I got duct tape, I have my coffee grinder, it's very compact, very small, hammer, a flashlight, a bunch of different screwdrivers. Thankfully, a lot of the places that I shop at only give these craft brown paper bags which is great. On Christmas, I always, you know, have a stash of these to reuse, so I love that. Above my fridge here is my little tea basket. I mostly have teas in glass jars. So some of these I buy at like a bulk barn 
Some of these are custom tea blends that I make myself because I like to buy the individual ingredients and I kind of mix them up, make my own custom blends. And then I also have some reusable tea bags. I also have a Hario drip, like a pour over tea brewer. This is the only upper cabinets that I have, but I just want to show you <laughs> the not so pretty side of this kitchen. <laughs> well, I was just talking to someone about zero waste again, and she was saying that, you know, she can't get rid of her plastic Tupperware. And if you're using what you already have, is way more sustainable than going out and buying new glass or stainless steel containers. Like, why not just use what you already have? So I eat a lot of yogurt and feta cheese, and they come in these great, sized uh, containers that are perfect for storing leftovers. These are my Tupperware, essentially. I have my reusable coffee cup, my Yeti. I also have a water bottle Yeti on the other shelf there. I've got my vitamins, salad bowls, cutting boards in the back. All right, so that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my kitchen. If you have any questions, any suggestions or ideas that you would give me for how I can even further optimize my kitchen, please leave them in the comments down below. I always love chatting with you guys in the comments. Thank you as always for watching this, for getting all the way to the end. If you know anyone who might find this video informative or valuable, please share it with them. I would really appreciate it. And that's all for now, folks. Take it easy.